Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Uh, we are patrolling the the theater. Hopefully, things uh, the, the final act goes off without a hitch. So far, so good. It looks like the play is going to wrap up accident free. And we didn't even notice anything suspicious during our patrols yet. Lloyd, Ellie. Is Ilya missing? What's going on? Is something wrong? Well, you see, one of the attendees has been behaving unusually for a while now. And we only just realized that she's not on our guest list. She isn't? Where is she? Up the stairs on the right in the back. She seems to be silently observing the S section seats. Got it. We'll go check it out. Stay here and wait for our return, sir. O of course. Okay. No way. Is that who I think it is? Oh, darn it. Why does Duddles have to pick this spot to patrol? This was the perfect spot to wait for my big scoop, and he is ruining it. He's totally going to catch me once I start firing off my camera. Hey, Grace. Well, Lloyd and, and Ellie, too. What in the world are you guys doing here? That's supposed to be my line. What are you doing here, Grace? You don't have a ticket, do you? Uh, <laughs> no, but I have my reasons. I may have snuck in here using a trick up my sleeve. Which was the what exactly? Keep this a secret, will you? Long story short, I slipped in with the dry cleaning. And voila, I was home free. Are you kidding me? Why did you have to go that far? Well, there's a simple explanation for that. You see, all of the friggin' tickets got snapped up by the other CNS journalists. I just had. That still doesn't make it right or legal. You're a real hassle, you know that? Hey, come on, guys. We're all friends here. How about we go watch the rest of the play? It's finally reaching the long-awaited climax, after all. If we don't see it, we may regret it for the rest of our lives. You could have just waited for the public show like a normal person. Besides, are you sure that's your only reason for sneaking in? 
You're not the one who sent the, th the threat letter, are you? The threat letter? What the heck are you going on about? Hold on. I thought it was kind of strange to see Duddles patrolling the theater. Ooh, it has to do with this letter, right? I don't think she's our culprit, Lloyd. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't hurt to ask. I doubt even Grace would take things that far. Even me, eh? Isn't that sort of rude? Is it? You literally decided to sneak into a private performance for a big scoop. Oh, that reminds me. You mentioned that you were following another story. What's it about? Nuh uh. My lips are sealed. Wait a second. Is the First Division here because of. because they're keeping tabs on him? Dread, I thought I was the only one to have picked up on it. Him? Are you referring to Yin? Huh? The heck's a Yin supposed to be? Does that have something to do with that threat letter you're freaking out about? N no, forget it. Listen up, Grace. I'm going to need you to tell me everything you know. If you don't, I'm going to have to report you for trespassing. Whoa, Lloyd. Isn't that a little cruel? You and I are buddies. Sure, but what we need now is some sort of clue, no matter how small it is. So please, Grace, tell us. Fine, fine. You're serious. I'll spill the beans, but are you sure you want to talk about this in front of Ellie? Why would we not? Is there something wrong with me being here? Oh, whatever. Just brace yourselves. The scoop I've been chasing involves a dark rumor about the mayor's secretary. What? You can't be serious. I think his name is Ernest. Either way, he's extremely dangerous with a capital D. He's supposedly been secre secretly embezzling funds from the mayor's office. And here's the kicker. He's been co covertly scheming with the Imperial Faction Diet members. You think he's trying to off the mayor? Nah. Probably too far-fetched. Ooh. Hey, Lloyd, I just had a thought. If Grandfather were to be killed under these circumstances, the culprit could easily slip out during all the commotion, so long as no one witnesses the crime. That's it. That's his plan. Whoa, wait up. Uh-oh. Go, go, go. What? what? And I go, hurry. <laughs> oh, God. Run, 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 run. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, no. Isn't this the police officer who was watching the box? It is. What the hell are you doing here? What? We'll talk later. Ellie, we're going in. Let's hurry. Ernest, stop. Who goes there? Yeah, Lloyd! <laughs> Damn it! Grandfather! Where'd the pistol come from? Wh what? What the hell is this? <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd show up in a place like this? This must be the goddess idea of a blessing. Ernest, why? Why do all of this? You were always there to support Grandfather, so why? We're cut from the same cloth, Ellie. You have no idea how fed up I am with Crossbow's sick situation. And in the end, man only pursues true change when obeying the will of one stronger than himself. That is why I had to act. So that's the reason you impersonated Yin and sent a threat letter to Elia. You made us believe that Yin was behind everything, all while plotting the mayor's assassination from the shadows. Damn it. So that's what's really going on. Have you enjoyed playing this game of yours? <laughs> you may hail from the First Division, but in the end, you're just a two-bit detective. Be it Ravash, hey you, or even the real Yin, if he actually exists. They're nothing more than puppets dancing in the palm of my hand. <laughs> you're just another arrogant bastard. Put the gun down slowly. You can still get off with attempted murder. Don't take it any further. Don't take it any further? Isn't that my line? The life of this old naive man, the mayor of Crossbell State. I could end it with one swift pull of this trigger. Please stop this. Pull in the hostage card, are we? Surely you don't want our dear Ellie to witness the moment her grandfather's brain splatters on the floor. 
So how about you ingrates line up on the wall there and stay out of my way? I'm having trouble figuring out your plan. The moment you step out of this theater, there, there'll be nowhere to run. Shut it. Just do as I say. Damn it. You really have no idea. Good. You have ears after all. Now, to hold up my end of the deal. Grandfather! Hold it! You won't escape. Look how quick he is. He's got that speed like, uh, like Yin. We gotta corner him. We got our people outside. How's he moving so quickly? Randy, Teal, brace yourselves. Mayor McDowell's secretary is headed your way. He's our man. Take him down. Gotcha. We'll get him. Ernest? Very well, then. There you go. <laughs> Damn. Phew. Where do you think you're going? This man is the true culprit behind this series of events. Randy! Teal! Oh, thank God. You guys managed to catch him. Yeah, it was lights out for him as soon as I saw him pull out a gun. Good. Good call. That aside, why have you joined forces with Four Eyes from the First Division? <laughs> Who do you think you're calling Four Eyes? Explain yourselves now. What is the meaning of all this? You've even brought back up. What exactly were you planning? Uh, well, you see... The hell? He can still move? <laughs> As if I could be taken down so easily. I will be. I will be the next mayor. Oh, ah, duh. <laughs> Zide! Is that your damn mutt? A distinguished performance, Zeit. Oh, give me a break. Ruined by a literally glory hound, eh? No, no, no. That'll be my job. <laughs> we got him. Where did she come from? We can never let our guard down. You again. Would it kill you to comply with orders for once? Ah, unhand me at once. I, I am, I'll def definitely be. I'll be the next mayor. Got that bastard. <laughs> So it was all just a, a ruse, and his real goal was to attack the mayor. Huh. It's so beautiful. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed as well. Good grandfather. You're already awake. Thank ideals. Yes, I'm perfectly fine, Ellie. It's unfortunate what just happened, but I still intend to experience the performance with my own two eyes. This is my way of paying respect to the wonderful people of Arc NCL. Grandfather. You honor us, sir. Oh, that's so nice.
This was a good overall chapter. I enjoyed that. Extra. A glamorous stage and the intrigue behind it. A preview of Golden Sun. The anticipated new stage show from Arc and Ciel has had its private performance captivated the audience from the moment the curtain rose with an acrobatic performance. Act 2 followed with the appearance of a hopeful new face, Risha Mao, who stunned the audience with her mystique and expressive dancing. Act 1 of the brilliant private performance. I felt like I was witnessing the rebirth of Arkan Ciel, uh, the mayoral assassin's dagger. While the drama was unfolding on stage, a more real one unfolded behind the scenes as the police discovered and foiled the attempted assassination of Mayor Henry McDowell in the balcony during the private performance. An official statement has been issued. The official word is that the suspect, Mr. Ernest Rice, McDowell's former top aide, Arrived with the mayor to watch the performance, he smuggled a gun and dagger past security officials, then attempted to use them to assassinate the mayor. What motivations did he have? Mr. Eyes served as the mayor's top aide for many years and was known for his honest personality. Why did he commit this crime? In gathering evidence, we discovered that he also illegally misappropriated the mayor mayoral funds and had connections with specific represent representatives. Additional evidence suggests he planned to run for the next mayoral, mayoral election and it is speculated he committed the crime to try to obtain the political position himself. However, the police has have... Oh, so he tried to kill him to to kind of uh, usurp the role. Maybe he try and um, plan it on Yin, as like Yin did the murder or something. Uh, Crossbow police learned... Uh, aware of the assassination plot in advance, subsequently deploying a security team inside the theater. Wait, would that say the team was fooled by the suspect's clever diversion? However, the newly commissioned special support section conducted their own independent investigation where able to thwart Mr. Rise's plot and save the mayor. A detective from the first investigation division said no comment. I cannot divulge more than what has been publicly disclosed. After the incident, Mayor McDowell decided to take a vacation. Even though he wasn't permanently injured, the stress on his mind and body was immense for his old age. Uh, it is so far unclear how long the break will be. Um, and the anniversary is approaching. Yikes. Things really... Yikes. Things really got out of hand. Most of the public should be in uproar by now, right? Considering that the mayor was almost assassinated at the debut of our Gen CL... CL's a new show. Yes, I would imagine. It's the ultimate scandal. We can at least take comfort in the fact that Mayor McDowell is getting a lot of support from the citizenry. But surely the name of the Imperial Faction Diet member that Ernest had ties to will make the papers, right? Eh, it'll probably be censored. Besides, wasn't this whole thing the product of that secretary lunatic going wild against his boss? Yeah. Maybe so. There really wouldn't be any benefit to assassinating the mayor as far as the Imperial faction is concerned. On the other hand, they might spin it against the Republican faction due to their connections with Heiyu and Yen. You might be on to something there. Pardon the interruption, but don't you think Ernest was acting sort of strange? It was as if he lost his sanity, or perhaps lost control would be more appropriate. No, I was thinking the same thing. Either way, I can't help but wonder what happened after the First Division took over the investigation. Well, as for Ernest, he's in a state of total shock. Can't even speak properly. Chief, you're back. You're saying he's so messed up they can't even interrogate him? Yep. Since they, weren't, since they weren't making any progress with him, they decided to go ahead and chuck him in the clink. Last I heard, they thought of calling in a church counselor or asking if someone from St. Ursula would examine him. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> that aside, you four have become quite the celebrities, haven't you? While I was at the department today, I got to witness the fox showering the SSS with praises. Boy, you should have heard him. The deputy director complimenting us? I find that hard to picture. Deputy Jackass decided to flatter us? I'm thrilled. Hey, it wasn't only him. 
The entire force had something good to say about you guys. Actually, I take that back. The, force di the first division didn't really say much, but I'm sure that their opinion of the SSS is a bit higher now. Show some cheer. You earned it. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> but how can we be happy at a time like this? Yeah, try to think about how Ellie... How L is feeling right about now. Yeah, someone who she thought she knew turned out to be a killer. Like, I'm sure she's feeling pretty bad. S seriously? Tomorrow is far too early for you to return to work. It's nothing more than a bruise and a minor sprain. Five days of rest has been more than enough worry. N enough worry not, for I have recharged my batteries. This isn't a joke, Grandfather. Think about everything that's happened, please. You no longer have Ernest, and you could have died. Don't you think you've earned your rest? You may feel so, but the anniversary festival draws near. Do we duty calls, so I cannot fall behind. I can't abandon my role as Crossbell's mayor over a minor spat like this. A minor spat? Grandfather, are you not in pain? Are you not mortified? Ernest was like a son to you, yet he betrayed you. So why do you continue? If I told you what happened, didn't shock me. I would be lying through my teeth. As I'm sure you've heard, Ernest has long been embezzling public funds from under our noses. Perhaps his actions caused extreme stress, and being trapped in his own mind caused him to go berserk. I do believe I bear some responsibility for not taking notice in the first place. Grandfather. Nevertheless, I am a politician. I have sworn to serve Crossbell in the present and future. No matter what happens, it's my duty to up uphold that oath and lead this city. That is a self-imposed commitment. I truly apologize, Ellie. Much like ten years ago, I was unable to stop your father, Ryan. Not only that, but my own daughter, your mother, left you behind. And despite being powerless, I continue to fulfill the role of mayor as I always do. Surely you must despise me, right? There's no way that that could ever be true. You're my hero, Grandfather. I occasionally keep in touch with Mother and Father. It may be heartbreaking, but I know I can overcome it. Ellie. I originally joined the police because I wished to help you in my own way. I thought this different approach would be a good way for me to help Crossbell. However, now that Ernest is no longer at your side, I, I was thinking I should retire from the police and assist. Spare me the nonsense. Good Grandfather... If you truly regretted the path you chose, then surely you would have returned immediately. However, such was not the case, correct? Imagine how insulting it would be to turn your back on the road you've taken. To your colleagues, to me, 
and above all, to yourself. Uh, you need not be concerned about me. After all, I have more than a single secretary, and if necessary, I shall seek Helmer's assistance. However, my plan to retire as mayor seems to have been delayed. Well, I suppose I've got another five years until I'm able to comfortably retire. Comfortably retire. Therefore, Ellie, you must continue on the path you've chosen. At least until you've become satisfied with all you've accomplished. I believe an old man like myself has no better encouragement to give you. Grandfather. Not to mention, if you all hadn't intervened, I likely wouldn't be sitting here. Stand proud, Ellie, of what you... Of what you do and how you've grown. For you shall continue to shine even brighter and reach new heights. Much like Ark NCL's new play. Uh... Yes, Grandfather. I, Ellie McDowell, will return to my post tomorrow and strive to make Crossbow a better place. Good. Don't leave us, Ellie, alright? You're our healer. We need you. <clears throat> Are we gonna see Heyu and, um, yeah, Yin and all that jazz? You've truly saved me. I appreciate it. If the situation were to progress any further down the rabbit hole, it would have gotten quite messy. That was quite a close call. We were almost suspected of attempted to, to, attempting to assassinate the mayor. <laughs> no thanks to your connections with, within the Republican faction. The leader of the Imperial faction speaker, Hartman, was likely the one to utter my name to that secretary. It's likely that he learned of it through Ravash... Ravash's Don Marconi. Yes, I'm inclined to agree. I must say, I wasn't expecting the secretary to go so far as to plan an assassination. Even so, there is no mistaken that his objective was to harm the Republican faction's reputation through us. Hm. A truly problematic city. Putting that aside, do not lump us together. It's particularly irritating. Oh dear, how cold you are. Well, no matter. Our ties with the members of the Republican faction can be severed at a moment's notice. And as we previously discussed, Hayes' counteroffensive will launch after the festival. We'll leave the operation on the festival's final day in your hands, Master Yin. Very well. It's time for me to take my leave. <laughs> Ever the elusive phantom, are we? Time? Time. What exactly is it time for, I wonder? Off she goes. Are we going to see who I know it is? <laughs> <clears throat> who else do you know that can jump like that? Clearly. It was Risha. And that's why she... Because she idolizes Ilya. So she wanted us to make sure she was safe. You're early, Risha. It was time for her performance, or, or practice or something. Elia? What? What? You looking forward to practice that badly? Jeez, and I call myself a dance freak. Were you always this dedicated? <laughs> I'm still nowhere near your level. And I doubt I, will, I ever will be. You say that, but your actions paint a different picture. You were just as excited for the private performance as I was. Come on, Risha. Your acting is top-notch. You finally become a genuine rival for yours truly. Really? Well, true or not, I still owe everything to you, Ilya. 
You showed me the light, opening my eyes to a path straying from the one I inherited. Though I suppose I should be grateful to those four this time. Yeah? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. You're planning to practice up until the third act today, right? I'll do my best to keep up. Oh? You sure you're up for it? Well, who am I to turn down a challenge, especially from you? Alrighty then. Until it's time for the public performance. I'll improve this scene a hundred times over. Follow me, Risha. Of course. And that's how you know Yin isn't immortal. She said the past she inherited. So it's basically in her lineage to like that 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 they've been there's been a yin and that's why he's lived through the centuries. But um yeah. That's the end of that chapter. That was fun. Not a Pokemon in sight? That's an interesting <laughs> achievement. Anyway, guys, um, that was the end of Chapter 2. Next time we head into Chapter 3. Leave a like, subscribe, share with me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.